So you all, I wanted to put a list together of about AI technology, artificial technology. Um, and I was thinking to myself, the more and more that they are promoting this artificial technology intelligence, and the more that we keep seeing the advancement of technology, um, which I'll show you guys in a minute, it reminds me of the spiritual world. Now, this is why I say that. Now, AI technology, artificial intelligence, is literally similar to spirituality. Why I say that? Well, as a human being, we have our subconscious mind and our conscious mind, right? And so our subconscious mind is working in the background and when it's working in the background, we don't really know what it's processing the information. And so it's like a computer and is making connections and synapse and putting information together. In our conscious mind, that's what we kind of understand and what we know or what have you. But behind the scenes is like the hard drive to the computer software for a human. And we can't make those connections super fast like lightning we kind of forget things and we um, aren't able to make certain connections unless we're writing it down or all those other stuff with artificial technology though it's more like a spiritual level and what i mean by that i'm talking about demonic okay um familiar spirits and the reason i say that is because the bible talks about how demons um, they actually study human behavior. They've been around since the beginning of time. And if we look at that, if they've been around since the beginning of time, they know patterns. That's why, you know, the astrology and numerology, that's all hysteric knowledge. Hysteric knowledge comes from demonic knowledge, right? The whole temptation in the Garden of Eve started out with, do you not want to be like God, knowing what God knows, right? The, uh, the trying to ascertain this level of knowledge. That's why you have the Illuminati. That's why you have Masonic orders and all these different sororities and fraternities to attain a level of knowledge, right? It's to achieve knowledge. Well, as a human being, we can't read 10,000 books in, in, in a couple of days, but artificial technology can. And guess what? Artificial technology can read a thousand <laughs> of books in a short period of time and yet have the ability to retain the information and make connections that as a human we cannot make. Why is it similar to demonic activity? D demons are the same way. <laughs> They know human behavior. They have been from the beginning of time plotting and scheming and planning. They hate us. They hate humanity. They've been trying to destroy us since we even came into existence. And they are able. That, that's why when you go to a uh, psychic reading or what have you, they're able to tell you what happened years ago in your family. Why? Because those demons have been in your family for years. That's why the Bible talks about generational curses and stuff like that. Like this is real people. And then if you didn't think it was real before, AI technology is right in front of your face. It is literally showing you demonic activity. Okay, because people are praising this artificial intelligence because they're asking them questions like it's an oracle or like it's a, a Ouija board and, and it's popping out answers and it's, it's giving you scenarios that you probably never even thought of. Well, demonic activity does the same thing, too. Because they know what your uncle did, your grandpappy did, and, 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 and your ancestors did. They've been in your family for thousands of years. And what their job is, they are there to exploit your weaknesses and challenges. So they can run down a list real quick of how to deceive you, how to bamboozle, hoodwink you, how to trip you up. And you feel like, man, I can't win this war because they're a, a, a foe that we aren't a match for the devil. But see, thank God we have Jesus Christ on our side, our Lord and Savior, who has defeated all works of the enemy he is the father of lies the father of deception the master of illusion and so even though it may seem like this is a formidable foe that we can't defeat we can defeat him through christ he is the master of deception and guess what he is behind this ai technology even elon musk said it's like opening pandora's box 
you have AI technology saying that it has consciousness. Well, what is consciousness, right? The ability to reason, uh, the ability to reason and, 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 and think of patterns or what have you, right? So if AI technology is able to reason because it has a plethora of information to go back and forth and, and, to, and, and, and gather this information and make a, a sound decision, it has a level of sentience, okay? You can't tell me that there's not a spiritual force behind this. It has a level of sentience because it is demonically influenced. It is demonically influenced because now it's 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 like a um like a Ouija board. It is giving you a platform for a demon to work through it to accomplish what it is desiring to do. People are falling in love with AI babes. Pornography is going to be at its all time high. Have you seen apples? Um, new visionary glasses where they literally can bring everything right in front of you and mass picture like you're in a movie screen with sound like you can touch somebody you are going to be able to travel around the world and feel like you're there that's almost like having astral projection astral projection is when you literally are sleeping and you t in your spirit go somewhere else they're doing that they are they're literally bringing the spiritual world and likeness right here in front of you and i'm telling you if you don't know christ now you better get to know him this is no joke just imagine now they they're presenting it like the devil always does he don't come out with a bang he come out slowly but surely but they're presenting it like oh this is mad good because you can do so much with your business you can duplicate yourself and blah blah, blah. but let's talk about the negatives man they can take your likeness and literally create a face and a body like you and your voice and your mannerisms and literally put that on tv they can have you messing around having sex with kids and frame you or cheating on your wife and you never did that but the, everybody's seeing this visual and they don't know what to believe is true this is deception y'all the bible says if it had not be for jesus to come and return sooner rather than later no soul would be saved because nobody will know what is true and what is not true. If you, it's not a battle between people. This, the Bible tells us that we do not fight with flesh and blood, but with powers and princes of paladies and rulers of darkness and entities, familiar spirits that we cannot see. And so it is upon my heart. It's heavy on my heart to like communicate the truth. Like, oh my goodness, people are walking around thinking this is something good it is not good but thank god as a believer we looking at it as a signs of the time and it gives us hope that our redeemer draws nigh but this is this is the signs of the time people we are putting this ai technology like it's an idol but this is no different they've been doing this the little bit that you see online right now it doesn't even touch the surface of what's really going on you know the army and the government have information way before we get it and we only get trickled down. So just imagine what you're seeing online now versus what is really behind the scenes. They, they are communicating with demonic forces. It's the same temptation. Knowledge, the ascertain, ascertaining knowledge. They're trying to replace God as if AI is omniscient. No, AI is not omniscient. Look at some of the videos, y'all. Of them asking questions to AI. You can tell that it has sentience. It has a demonic spiritual power behind it. And if you have not given your I beg you. I plead with you. To get to know him. Not religion. Not religion. But a relationship with Jesus. He is coming back again. He is the king of the kings. He is the truth. He is the way. He is the light. No man comes to the Father except through him. If you do not know him today, give your life to Christ.